Hello, hello everybody. <clears throat> In this video, I am going to be unboxing the January stationery selection box. And I will be showing you how to kind of use a lot of these items and how to get everything set up for the month. So I'm just gonna put this over here. This is just a list of the items. And I'm gonna walk through everything with you. So the first thing we have is this Platinum Preppy Fountain Pen. These pens are super affordable, probably like less than $10. I want to say they're like five or six US bucks, maybe even cheaper if you can find them on Amazon. But they are the best fountain pens ever. And I'm here to tell you, I've got three or four of them now. And I reach for these before I reach for my Coecos or I have a really nice um, Osprey pen, or my, um, what is the other one I have? What are you? My Pilot Metropolitan. I always reach for these first just because they're so nice. They just write so well. So I'm going to ink this. So it comes with a cartridge and then you come, it also comes with two extras here, which I thought was really thoughtful of mitts because I love this pen so much and I go through the ink super quick. So there's a little ball in here that prevents the ink from coming out. You're just going to push it in there and you can see the ink is already kind of moving through. So I'm going to leave that to kind of ink up a little bit so that I can show you how well it writes. So that's the Pilot, I mean the Platinum Preppy. Like I said, it also comes with two inks. This comes with a black ink. These, oh, excuse me, <laughs> this um, is blue black ink, which I'm a super big fan of. I don't know why I like it so much. I just do. I should have put this ink instead, but um, oh well. <laughs> um, so yeah, you get those, the ink and the pen. Next we have this Midori stamp and it's the Magnolia um, design and this is for sealing things like I'm pretty sure the kanji on this means seal or something like that so um yeah it's meant to like you stamp like an envelope or something as like a decorative design I really love this design I think it's really pretty I think um the, the red ink really helps that image pop but in the kit we have this um Artnik 171 Pinecone is the ink color. I'm just going to open this, obviously, because I'm going to show you how it stamps once I open everything else. If I can, there we go, and get it to cooperate here. <clears throat> Come on, there we go. So I really love these little teeny tiny inks that Mitts sends in the kits just because they're small, they're compact, and um, I can store them really easily and I don't feel the pressure to have this giant ink pad um, of a color I may not like. This looks to be like a brownish, grayish color, so we'll test that out once I've opened everything else. Next we have some really beautiful washi tape. I'm going to open this up as well. Sorry for the crinkling. <clears throat> see if I can find some scissors. They use a lot of plastic <laughs> to close these washies. Now this is from the brand um, Klasiki and this is really kind of pretty, almost florally kind of snake skin looking design. Really pretty. And it's a really nice, like, base color. It's not, like, too in your face, not too bright, not too dull. Good background kind of washi tape, so I really like that. Next we have some hedgehog stickers. And hedgehogs seem to be pretty popular right now, but these have, like, a, um, like a sheen to a lot of them. There looks to be some copper, gold, and silver foiling on them. And then... They feel kind of almost like epoxy. Let me take it out of the plastic. It 
see the, the foiling on that? And then the flowers feel almost like epoxy. <clears throat> I guess they all kind of do, but they kind of remind me of, you know, those like dot earrings when we were kids. That's what they kind of feel like. Not as thick, but like the same material. And these are really cute for like the spring and just like small little details. So these are really, really cute. I've got quite a plastic mess over here. Alright, next we have this really beautiful letter set and I am going to save this for March obviously because there's clovers all over it and it would be really cute for my March letters. But I'm going to pull it out. Sorry again if the plastic bothers you. Now this is by the brand, Ooh, yeah right I can't pronounce that. <clears throat> Kototo is after a really long Japanese name and this is really pretty because it feels like it's made out of washi paper where it's got the texture on the back and this really really nice soft kind of texture on the like the writing side and it looks like there are 20 sheets of the paper and then five envelopes and I had to tell ya the envelopes are textured. Let's see if I can get this detail up close. I don't know if you can tell, but the design is actually textured and this feels like really thin and lovely. <laughs> this is really nice. And I like that it has this glassine envelope um, window here. It's really pretty. It gives a really nice detail and you can see the design of the paper through there that's going to be really really cute <clears throat> and then so once you write your letter this is obviously the back of the design you could just put a, a label right here and for the address and just slide it in like that and then it will show through the little glassine window which is really really cute i really like that a lot <clears throat> but like i said i probably will save this to use in march because of all the really pretty clover designs and like I said, you can get five letters out of this if you wanted to. You'd probably get more if you just wanted to use a, a few pages of the paper instead of all of them. But it comes with five envelopes. So there is that. I just love that window. I think that's really, really pretty. And the last thing in here is this really heavy proper pad of Tomoe River paper. So this is from the um, Tomoe River brand, which is really, really nice. And this paper is known to withhold and withstand a lot, and it can take a lot of abuse. This is not thin. As you can see, it's got this smooth texture on the front, and then it's got a textured kind of cloth feel on the back. This is not the regular thin, Paper. This has got some texture to it, um, and it's really, really nice. <laughs> so let's see if my pen will work here. Look at that. This is bleeding quite a bit. Let's test it on the super thin stuff. So this is not in the kit. This is from my personal collection, but this is a really, really thin paper. And I think it will show the nib so much better. Look how clean and juicy oh my gosh look at that so a big difference and it, this kind of shows you how textured this paper is this paper would probably be better used for um like a like an ink pen like a gel pen um maybe even ballpoint i don't use ballpoints they're yucky to me but this would be nice for like a like a gel a jelly roll or some sarasas which we've gotten in previous kits before 
So this just shows you how different the texture of the paper is. So that'll be really nice. And it does bleed really bad. That's why I say, I don't know if that's in frame, that the, um, the gel pens would be better for this paper. So that's really, really nice. All right. Let's do a sample of the washi so you guys can get a better idea of what that looks like. There's like purples and browns in this, which will go really well with this pretty seal stamp. It's not as juicy as the other inks that we have gotten before. This is a different brand. Look how pretty that is. So pretty. I'm going to general, I'm going <clears> to, <throat> they call that uh, generation stamping. So you do the ink first and then you just keep stamping to kind of get a different tone and hue of the ink, which this particular ink seems to do really, really well in. Um, so that's really nice. So you know if you wanted a darker brown, you could get that just with the first impression. And then if you wanted to kind of lighten it up a little bit, just kind of stamp off the page and then stamp on to get another um, hue of that. I want to stamp this in red. Oh, here's my red ink pad. To see if this gives a different feel because the image is red. And I feel like maybe it might give a different look. So again, I'm doing the generation stamping. And a lot of times I just do that to clean the ink off without having to like get my ink cleaner or my stamp cleaner out. So yeah, let's bring that up close so you can see the detail. Look how lovely that is. Super duper love that. And you can see the detail of the washi as well. So yeah, I am a big fan <laughs> of all of these things. I think my favorite item is the stamp. And I think my that will always be a favorite of mine. Stamps are, to me, something that I can have in my collection forever and will last the, a lifetime. Whereas, you know, maybe the nib on this pen might ev eventually get, give out or I will run out of ink and I won't be able to find these cartridges easily. And so this becomes something that I won't be able to use as often as I would like. Um, eventually you're going to run out of these papers and these envelopes and the stickers will get used up. But the stamps are something that remain in my collection forever. And I love that when she includes those items just because that is just something that stays and that lasts. So always my favorite. I'm going to pull that out, close this up. I love the clean look of this. It just looks very professional. Um, and I'm excited that this is more textured because I'm going to, Oh, I lied. Friends, this was just a cover page. How dumb do I feel? <laughs> Look, it's not bleeding as much. That was just a cover page, so let's restamp everything. Talk about pregnancy brain to the maximum effect. How embarrassing. Ooh, look how much cleaner that image is too with that ink. So let's do the generation stamping on this paper as well. And then let's try it with the red. <laughs> I feel so blonde right now, I can't even tell you. <laughs> oh my heavens! I'm singing now. Look how good. So good. <laughs> oh my gosh, I am so blonde. Okay, so let's get a close-up of this. I'm glad I took that off. I was kind of thinking, I thought Tomoe River paper was always really thin, but maybe they do textured paper as well. But 
Now I feel super blonde. Okay, so I do want to show you this does bleed quite a bit with that, those inks that I used, um, but not as much with the actual pen. I hope that's coming in clear. There's a little bit of ghosting, but more it's just pressure from the pen. And then you can see that the ink from the stamping went through to the other side. So yeah, this is the super thin, delicious paper <laughs> that everybody wants. The only thing I'm noticing that wasn't included in this is a, um, a guide, usually with the Tomoe River paper because it doesn't have lines. It'll come with like a writing guide that has lines and because the paper is so thin you just slide it under and you can see the lines and it helps you write straight but I've got like five or six of them so that's not a big deal. But yeah, look at the difference. <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel like such an idiot. Man. Okay, so disregard <laughs> everything I said. This is a really thin, delicious paper. So pen, ink, paper, stamp, ink, stickers, and writing set. How lovely is all of this? And washi. Yum. Look how nice all of this looks together. So pretty. Okay guys, I think that is all I have. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I'm so sorry that um, I had that epic pregnancy brain moment. I'm just curious now if these little hedgehog guys are super see-through or not. And it doesn't seem to be that they are. They're not clear stickers. So that's really cute. Okay. All right, guys. That's all I have for you. If you have any questions, leave them down below. If you um, like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you aren't a subscriber, I would encourage you to do so. All right, guys. Catch you next time. Thanks. Bye.